are trying to be like the next, but we got to be like Jeremiah to decree and plow the word in season and out of season because the Bible says that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Here it is, the Bible, Paul forces us to believe in scriptures about the positive and the unknown of serving and suffering as a Christian. Paul's proclaiming these scripture tells us about the importance of our weakness, our fear, our troubling, because you got to understand that even in your weakness, God can still use you. Even in your fear, God still gets the glory. Not only did the power come from his words, but the power it came from Paul's demonstration. As some of our parents will say, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And that is how Paul is. Not only did he show his self-approval in his word, but he showed his self-approval in his walk with God. That's good news right there. Not only can I talk the word, not only can I just talk the talk, but I got to walk as God would walk. Many of us say that our actions say something, but in this season, we got to continue to do the work of the Lord. Some may ask the question, why, oh Lord, why is it me? And most times, you should not ask that question because God is only trying to get the glory out of this. I don't know about you, but in the season that I am in, God is still going to get the glory out of this. So now I got to move forward and move like God wants me to move. The Bible tells me that the devil, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But God reversed that thing and he said, I come that you might have life and more abundantly. So now we ask the question, why in the world is power so important? Because we live and move and have our being in Jesus Christ. The raise Jesus from the dead is the same power that worketh on my behalf. That's good news right there. Preach Carmen. I think I will. In Luke 10 and 19, Jesus gives us the assurance that he has given us the power to overcome. Jesus gives us the assurance to overcome anything that the enemy tries to mount up against us. The power of God is just like the blood. Why is it like the blood? Because the blood The anointing of God could have left you, but it stayed. The power of the suffering of God, it could have left, but it stayed. So in this season, I got to know that the power is in my suffering. Although I may not understand it, I may not understand it or know why it's coming to me. But we as the body of Christ, we got to build and not break. In this season, we got to know that through prayer, our answers will come.
feel good. But you got to know, even in the bad times, God is still good. Even in the ugly times, God is still wonderful. So look at your neighbor and shout, neighbor, God is getting ready to turn this thing around. I don't know about you, but I
and what you're going through. What you're going through will not be the end, but it's only the beginning. Amazing grace. What we're going through right now, we might not understand, but there is power in what's about to take place and how can we encounter through prayer. Push until something happens. Pray until God hears you. And I decree and declare that whatever you're going through, you won't look at it, but it'll just be a milestone for the next thing that God got for you. So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. there is power. It's so